Today I'm going to teach you how to edit videos like Bobby Misner. Hey guys, my name is Nick and welcome back to another tutorial video. Before we start, if you consider yourself creative or entrepreneurial, then you might want to check out a New Vision Instagram page. It's a brand that I'm helping start and I'm working on. They'll expand into a load of stuff. At the moment, it's just an Instagram page. There is daily motivation and we feature a load of creators and stuff like that. So I'd really appreciate it if you go and drop a follow on that. So if you've not come across Bobby Misno, I'll link his channel in the description. He's a very talented content creator. So today I'm going to be teaching you how to edit like him, I'm not going to teach you how to make videos like him because uh, he, he like flies in private jets and stuff. Trust me, if I knew how to do that, I wouldn't be making tutorial videos. Okay, so I'm going to take a few effects from a sequence in one of his vlogs and I'm going to show you how to um, do each effect. I've kind of edited it into my own little uh, clip, so yeah, let's get straight into Premiere Pro. Okay, so here I am in Premiere and I'm just going to run through some of the things I've done and how you can do them as well, so let's get started. Okay, so on top of here is the black bars. <laughs> They're of course the most essential piece to making everything look cinematic or whatever. I'll link this image file and a 4K version of this image file in the description so you can go and download it and use it yourself. And you're just going to want to put that over the top of your footage and as you can see, I don't know, it just makes it look kind of cool. The next thing I've done is I've added in a bit of footage I have from London and, and one thing Bobby does is he likes to change the color of the footage to like pink or blue or something occasionally so the way you go about that is you go to the color tab in Premiere and you'd also and then you would come down to the color wheels and then you're going to want to change the midtones and pull them quite uh, towards what sort of color you want on the color wheel so if you wanted it more blue you can pull it towards the blue I'm going to go back to having it being quite pink but yeah, just choose where you want there. He only One thing that will just make your footage look better is if you increase the contrast, especially if you're shooting in RAW, or you can just like click, click auto or something like that. One thing Bobby does a lot is where he has video files overlaid on top of other video files. For example, as you can see here, where I have this other piece of video over the top of this, and it's slowly zooming in. The way you can do that is just drag it into a layer above. Come up here to the video effects, go to scale, make sure to hit that stopwatch icon next to the word scale, and then set the scale to how big you want it to be at the start of the movement. Then you're going to want to move your playhead to the end of the clip, and then set the scale to where you want it to be at the end, and it should create another keyframe, and then it will transition between the two. Now another thing is uh, the uh, glorious title where Bobby has his name. Now, all you're going to want to do for that is you're going to want to go into Photoshop or something. I'll just show some screenshots because I don't have it recording my Photoshop screen at the moment, but all I really did was like scribbled down my name in white, uh, turned off the background, and then saved it as a PNG and just imported it into my project. Then I dragged it on and I cut it up a little bit, frame by frame to make it flash on and off and that is overlaid over the footage underneath. Um, the next thing Bobby does is he likes to use the mirror effect. Now this is quite simple to use and I'm going to show you how to use it. As you can see, here's the original footage and then here's the footage with the mirror effect. Now you're going to want to go to your effects panel. I don't know where it will be for you. I have a custom workspace, but you're going to want to search an effect mirror. It's under video effects distort. You're going to want to drag that onto your footage then if you just want to mirror it on the right side, you just, you're just going to drag this down and as you can see, there is a mirror effect sort of happening. But if you want it from another angle, you just input the angle you want it from. If I wanted it at 180, you can see it disappears and then I can drag this and it will be like, it'll be like that. Or if I wanted it at another, or if I wanted it at another angle, I can just say something like 90 and then it will do uh, that sort of thing. So. Just play around with it and see what you can create. Now a big feature of Bobby's videos is he uses text quite a lot to show lo locations and show captions of what's being said or something. I'm fairly certain this font he uses is Helvetica so um, you might have to install it if you're on Windows because I don't know if Helvetica comes with the operating system. Helvetica comes with the operating system on Mac. What you're going to want to do is you're just going to want to come to this type tool here. You're going to want to click where you want it on the screen. Just type what you want to say, like say in capitals like London or something. That's not how you spell London. Uh, you're going to want to highlight that and then you're going to want to change it to 
Helvetica bold and as you can see it sort of looks like that. If you want to change the scale of the text you use this slider and then you can move it around and stuff like that so yeah. So thank you guys for watching, I really appreciate it. If you like this video, please leave a like down below. Also, if you're new, hit the subscribe button, I'd really appreciate it. And tap the notification bell if you haven't already. As I said at the beginning, follow the new vision and I'll see you guys in the next video.